Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, in you go. Yeah, well, we'll just let things overlap. For now, we can move them around to be pleasing. Maybe uh, that's a job for, for someone with, with more skills than I have. <laughs> Lucy. YouTube, welcome back. Today is a big world building day. We are going to be doing well, we're going to be fleshing out some of the regions of this world. So we've, we've looked at continents, we've got a, a sketch of the climate zones now, and we're starting to place our languages and starting to see what each, what each of these little regions is like. And to help us do this, um, we're going to use the tool called a mood board. We're going to make a mood board for all of our little regions. We're going to go through uh, real world analogs to the different climate zones and find cool, pretty pictures and start stack them up all onto a, a, a you know, onto a, a mood board. I don't know what else to, to call it. Um, and so we can get a sense of the vibe of each place. And as we do this, um, hopefully we can start to name some of these regions. We only have a, a name for one region, which is Eustamia, the fragrant coast. Um, so we need to, to name some more of these regions. So we can't, we don't have to talk about, you know, oh, it's the uh western hot step region in the west coast of continent a we we can just have a name for it so we'll, we'll start to do that very much interested in your input and inspiration on all of these things so i'll be watching the chat as much as possible but i think without further ado we can jump into the side webcam and there it is okay so I'm going to show you something cool. I don't know if you've seen this before, which is we now have a wiki for for the world. I've called it the Biraiverse, um, working title, but I think it's kind of cool. And if you want, you can go see this uh, yourself. The URL, I don't know if you can see it very easily there, but it's world.colangori.com. So it's my website, but just with world in front of it. Um, and it's it's still a bit sketchy uh you know at the time at the time as of the time being i don't know for now um but we have a few little things we have a geography page which has um majahadra's excellent work in coming up with the climate zones and we have a little reference here we have stuff on the currents and wind direction um let's see what else we have we have the different con we have a page for each continent so we can look continent a and you can look at all the different regions in continent a there's even a uh, there are even pages for some of the language families satonic has a page but it's empty so far and yeah we can we can forge ahead with this and as you know this world well i don't know as you know maybe i shouldn't say as you know but this world is meant to be something that's open and collaborative. So if you have ideas, you know, they're welcome in the chat. We'll, we're still scrappy. We're still young at this point. So um, we'll go through the process of, of collecting things and canonizing them together. And yeah, we'll see what we can come up with. All right. So <laughs> Echo, all the regions are called owl in different languages. Oh, I like that. All right, so there's some questions about the climate map. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know a lot about climate. Um, I'm relying on the wisdom of, of the community there. Uh, so if you have some suggestions or, or comments or feedback, uh, please do feel free. Um, probably the Discord, we have a little channel in the Discord for the BDIverse. So that's probably the easiest place to do it um, so it doesn't get lost. Um, super, okay, so let's take a look at some of these zones specifically the ones where the languages we worked on the most are spoken. Okay, so we have, um, let's actually go down here because we have another, another, little, um, another little image here. So Eustamia is going to be spoken in this kind of northwestern coast on uh, this continent here, which is continent E. Lenathilef is spoken on this southwestern coast. So I think it would be cool to uh, get to know these regions and sort of what they look like, uh, more or less. 
So to do this, I'm going to, well, we have to consult a, a climate map of, of Earth. And I think that's, that's our first step. So let's find a good map of Earth. Let's see what we got. Wikipedia is here to help us. Okay, so the colors are more or less the same, although we're using a sort of a simplified version. Maybe I'll put this over here. The, the, it looks a little odd. There we go. All right, so we can start to look and see what our, our zones are, are like. And I have a little Figma open here that we can use to just drop um, photos on. Oh, galactic sand. Call one of the archipelagos. Now, is that an H mué or an H aspiré? I don't remember. Is it Les Ibu or Les Ibu? Chouette. Yeah, we can phonologically adapt that. I'm going to put that in. Where are, where are our archipelagos? So we have one here in Lenadilef land. Um, so that could be, that could be a candidate. We also have these ones, which are in the more Sakrat speaking area. These two archipelagos here. And then we have this one, which we know very little about. So that's going to be fun to explore. Right. Okay. So let's look at this northern this northern coast here, which is, if I'm not mistaken, an oceanic climate. So let's look at oceanic climates on Earth. I'm there we go. Ah, my color matching game is is on point today. Ah, galactic sand. It's it's a it's a Germanic loan, so Leibu. Very nice. Echo's asking if the agriculture info from the Discord is going to be used. Yes, it is. Um, we are actually planning a, a a steering meeting regarding the agricultural info later this week, so we'll be incorporating that as well. I, I don't aim to make too many decisions about um, things today. I, what I want to do is flesh things out and make things a little more real and a little more um, whoop, and a little more visual. So um, we're going to keep things still somewhat, uh, you know, no big decisions today. I want to make sure to, to get in all that information from the agricultural, um, the agricultural project that, uh, that ship has been working on. Okay. We're steering the ship. That's right. Or maybe the ship is steering us. Cuneiform, <laughs> Cuneiform name asks, uh, are there going to be any more land masses? Uh, because if the if these uh, if the world's roughly the same size as Earth, which I think it is, um, we don't have actually a lot of land area. We have um, sort of a, a more or less small fraction of of Earth's land area. And yes, there probably will be a second set of land masses on the other side of the world that we know nothing about yet. So that's going to be something fun to to explore. The idea behind this second set of land masses is at the current level of technology, there is no way for, um, there, there's been no way yet discovered to circumnavigate the globe. So whatever's going on there is its own complete different story. Yeah, most likely a, a southern hemisphere. Okay. Well, we have ship here, so if there is any... Um, if there's any agricultural input uh, that, that comes up, like what kind of crop we need, um, hopefully you can jump in and, and just uh, and just tell us what, you, uh, what you've what you come up with. Okay, so we're looking at the oceanic climate here in this little zone. And this is more or less Eustamia, the fragrant coast. The question of why it's called the fragrant coast is uh, still uh, an outstanding one. We've had a lot of suggestions uh, ranging from flowers, uh, the stench of, of rotting fish on the on the shore, a freshwater river. Um, I don't know if we've finally made up our mind. Maybe it's something that we'll never make our mind up about. It's like uh, it's like you never see Maris on Fraser. You know, it's just a, an eternal mystery. Okay. So, oceanic climate. So let's take a look at some of these regions where we have oceanic climates mostly Western Europe. So let's see what we can take inspiration from. Let's use Wikimedia Commons to get some good, um, some good Creative Commons pictures. 
or some public domain stuff, we'll see. Let's look at, at the featured pictures and let's look at, let's see if we can, I don't know if we can s uh, filter this way, but let's see Galicia. Do we have any good images here? Okay, we do. So we're looking at some potential uh, inspiration for for Eustamia, and we are going through we're going through some of these example um, settings in Western Europe in this case, and and uh, we're going to start to make a mood board. So I'd like to steer clear, if possible, of um, I'd like to steer clear, if possible, of a lot of um, human structures. Um, because I don't want us to recreate the same kind of architecture in the same climate zone necessarily. But let's, I'm trying to figure out featured picture, quality image, or valued image. Do you know which is the better, <laughs> which is considered the better one? Maybe we can just decide based on the, what we think. I think featured picture is probably the, the nicer kind. So is, is there anything that's just nature here? Yeah, this works. And let's see if we can just put this in. Cool. So this will be, we'll call this slide Ustamia, Oceanic. And what continent is Ustamia on? Let's just remind ourselves, sorry. Let's just remind ourselves that it's on continent E. So we'll give us the little Looks like E oceanic. Uh, that might be a bit hard to see. I, I apologize. I don't think there's a way of. Yeah, it it keeps, it stays small. So Eustamia E oceanic. And let's just take a a little thing here to if we uh, need to credit the the photographer. We'll keep the link so we can do so. Okay, what else do we have? I, I really need to look back at chat. Some stu cool stuff's been going on. Alrighty. Uh, I am... Oh, okay, so I, I see a, a comment from, or a question from Quanti. Uh, my favorite writing system. Oh, that's really tough to say. That's a very tough to say. I don't, I don't know that I have a favorite off the top of my head. I, I think that there are many, many beautiful ones. I think uh, some of the Central Asian uh, writing systems like um, uh, Mongolian, Manchu, those are extremely beautiful, uh, although I don't know them. Um, I also like Pagspa, which I think is cool too. And I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I probably am not, given that it's uh, Tibetan, I think. But nevertheless, I mean, look at this. This is, oops, wait, look at this, this is beautiful. Let's see if we can see any other, like, look at these. So maybe, I guess this is my answer. I mean, look at this, this is so beautiful. Anyway, okay. Colin, focus challenge, 2022, rated impossible. Let's see what else we can do. So, well, we've given Galicia one. Let's take something else, let's take Brittany. Let's see if we can take, ah, there we go. How do we get this open? More details, there we go. Look at this, this is beautiful. Let's take the link here and let's, let's copy the image, put it into our inspiration. Look at this, this is looking nice. Okay, yeah, Jack, London, Berlin, Southern Iceland have also also have an oceanic climate. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can just take something from each of these zones. So why don't we look for, let's look for England. I'm trying to avoid cities uh, because I don't want to bias us in terms of buildings. Let's see. Some of these are very beautiful. We may get a road in one of them. I think that that's probably that's probably okay. Oh, no, wait. I saw something. Look at 
look at this. I mean, we do have a little stone bridge here in a road, but I think that's fine. So we're e oceanic. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, in you go. Yeah, well, we'll just let things overlap. For now, we can move them around to be pleasing. Maybe uh, that's a job for, for someone with with more skills than I have. <coughs> Lucy. Baggy point. All right, let's do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good suggestion. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get some. Let's get this in. And let's get a, oops, that's not right. No higher resolution available. Okay, fine. Copy image link, in you go. Well, that didn't work. Ah, I said copy image link. Look at this. Is, wait, is Baggy Point in New Zealand? That's cool. Yorkshire Dales, okay. This is good. So we, when you think of this, this is the, the place where all these Eustamia speakers are. So let that percolate in your mind. Uh, Yorkshire Dales. Okay, this is just unfair. <laughs> Look at this. How can anyone compete? Let's put this in as well. This, this frame has no chance. No chance whatsoever. Okay. You. All right. What else do we have? New Zealand mountain. Right, yeah, because if we look, Eustamia does back onto this mountain range. So let's go back and let's see. I don't know, does the search work that way in here? Yeah. Okay, again, look at this. This is amazing. I don't know about you, but this is really this is really helping solidify in my mind what this, what these uh, places that we're making look like. The Biraiverse lives. Let's see if we can, how are we gonna put this in here? Everything is horizontal. The absolute best part of all of my streams is my <laughs> inability to use graphical user interfaces. I think that's gotta become something of a meme by now. Cool, look at this, okay. Let's get one or two more. And what else do we see? Scottish Highlands. Ah, Liechtenstein. All right, let's 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 get one of each. Oh, I mean, this one I have seen in person. This is, this is just it. Look at this. In you go. Okay, this is looking nice. Let's just make this a bit bigger and I think we got it. Oh, I wanted to see that Liechtenstein. We'll find a spot. Hmm, do we know what region this castle is in? Uh, maybe this will, Bavaria? Does this extend? I think that might be a little too far south for Oceania. Uh, Hmm, unknown, unknown as of yet. Uh, well, let's see if we can find something in maybe Denmark so that we, here's a nice beach. And let's get the image. There we go. Oh, look at this. How many times have I said, look at this in this stream so far? No one can really say. Hmm. This is beautiful. No, yes. All right, sorry for the dead air. I just, <laughs> I am trying to, there we go. All right, Eustamia, how do we think? I think we'll, it's a good time to put in a break anyway. Um, see you, Lorem. Yeah, let's put in a little break, YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us. Check this, like, look at, this is kind of nice. Isn't this nice? This is nice. Let's zoom in. This is the Fragrant Coast. Beautiful. All right. Well, YouTube, 
Thank you very much for joining us today. Where's my mouse? There it is. Thank you so much for joining us today. Come back and we'll we'll build this world up, you know, brick by brick. That's what we're doing here. Um, so if you have not, do check out the Discord. The link is in the description if you want to have input on how this world develops. And I just want to say a quick thank you to our amazing patrons for making this possible. Uh, otherwise, we will see you back uh, next time.